Hi there, I just wanted to film this bit because, uh, as you can see, it's actually midnight uh, on this Saturday evening, Sunday morning. And we are going to play part 50 of Twilight Princess. There is my half century gift for you all. You get to see what time I'm playing this. Um, I don't know if many of you know, uh, we do try and post these up as soon as we uh, do the part, but obviously. Um, they do take a while to put up, for me especially. They take about, what? Uh, 15 minutes or so to convert. Then, I don't know, 30 minutes or so to edit. Another 15 minutes for that to publish. And then another two hours putting it on YouTube. That's how long it takes. But Kelly can do it in about 10 seconds, so it's really annoying. <laughs> I was going to do loads of stuff before um, we actually got to the desert, and I sort of forgot to do them all. But never mind, we can still do quite a bit anyway. Like with the desert in Ocarina of Time, Desert Colossus, um, there are these annoying fish things that keep popping up on the ground. Unfortunately, if you kill them all, I don't think a big one appears after a while, but hey. They're still really annoying, and just try and avoid them. Also, if my voice goes, I'm sorry, that's because I'm recovering from a nasty... There's a hole there? I'm recovering from flu, so... Uh, I want to try and stay away from this one, actually. Uh, what we want to do is make a way over to where this big tower thing is sticking out of the ground here. You'll notice it's part of the bridge. Oh. Keep going now. Okay, once you get to about here, get out your claw shot. Claw shot on. Can I have a claw shot on you? No. Hang on. Uh, drop down from there. Doom, doom, doom. Try your best to push onto that thing. And it should take you to where we want to go up here. Yeah, we have to fight some more of these fellas. For reasons that will become really obvious a bit later on. Cheers, transform into a wolf. Make sure you get the what of it all together so it doesn't really matter. Great. There we go. Once they're down, portal opens and. Plumber on up here. Talk to Midna. Let's walk to the place that we just opened in uh, Hyrule Field, the West Bridge. We're going to fix it. Yeah. It's always a good moment when this happens. Some good views from up here, actually. I don't know if you just saw Hyrule Castle and Lake Kylia. But yeah, you can actually see Hyrule Castle from quite a fair distance away. There it is, in the back. I'm going to do a Master Quest moment now because I need to cough, so hang on. <coughs> oh. Sorry. Hey, the bridge is fixed. It's not perfect, but I don't think it was perfect in the first place, to be honest. Um, great. Now, let's warp again. This time, let's do the thing that I've got to do, and let's go to Zora's Domain. Um, and we shall go and get the bomb bag, which someone actually mentioned to me. I completely forgot that this was here. I was like, what happened to that big rock that helped melt uh, Sora's domain? And the answer is, it's still here, and it contains the bomb bag. What we want to do, go out here first of all. Um, 
I have no recollection of actually doing this bit before, by the way. So, I'm not quite sure what to expect, but we're going for the bombs anyway. This music, of course, from Ocarina of Time. I might want to get off of there. Uh, get out my Zora tunic. And I'll have some bombs out. Which is good. I'm not really sure. I think I think it must be this one. So if we uh, we got water bombs, get that out. Water bombs. Oh great! Well, we still managed to do it anyway. Is now free. Hey, fella. I've actually got it. Yeah. Okay, so we now have two bomb bags. We have one for normal bombs, one for water bombs, and we can get bomblings if we want. I might get them just for the sake of getting them. I'm sure there's all sorts of rupees and crazy stuff down here. Uh, there's 10 rupees anyway. And, uh, got other things like this one. Yeah, you just get more rupees. Uh, feel free to explore from there. But we're just sort of wasting time, really, so. Let's crack on with the walkthrough. And I don't know what we're going to do now. What are we going to do? We can go somewhere nice, like. Um, I'll just show you a quick thing in uh, Upper Zora's River very quickly because um is this a way to talk as always ever? Is that a way to hire a thought? No, I think going the right way. Hope so. I'm confused by the way. <laughs> it's called being ill. It's not good. Well we are here, that's all right. I think we held up this howling stone. So we're all right for now, but I want to show you a couple of things before we head off to the desert. Um, one thing is that you can go and visit her, I think her name is Isa, or Isa, um, and she does the boat rental shop, and you can help unbomb her place. We can go in. We can't go in. We need to do something, I can't remember what it is, but I'll figure it out. Oh, we need to save her from these fellas. Right, okay. This makes sense. She better go and hide because I want to warp. No, I don't want to warp. I want to transform into a wolf. And I can't do that when someone's around. So go and hide, you. Oh, come on, please. Please be nice. Please be nice. What? Right, kill one on its own. Okay. Hit you once. Hit you once. Get together. Spin attack. Yeah, I did it. I say you can kill them as an adult, but don't forget you still have to kill them all at once. Oh dear, not another one that's inviting you round to their place. Yeah, it's Isaac. Just agree with your help. Uh, get your arrows out, get some bombs out. 
Uh, what? That's not right. There you go, now you can go down on that river. Uh, sure, thank you for it, and I'll see you in the next part.